So welcome to your 2021-22 end of season and kit sponsors dinner. And it goes without saying a big thank you to the University of Bedfordshire for their sponsorship of the evening. And indeed to all of you for backing your beloved football club over a very, very challenging last couple of years. Right, a couple of things. First of all, let's just get this out of the way. I am a Middlesbrough fan. You've got ten seconds. Ten seconds only. Go on, you've got a couple more. Get it out of your system. Yeah. As you can imagine, I am delighted to be here today. I always am. It is a magnificent football club. And what a journey you are all on. It is extraordinary, you know, as you'll be able to see from all the wrinkles on the side of my face. I've been on national radio for 20 years. I've been on national television for the last decade and a half. These moments are rare. I was w recently working in the States and, and quite a major sports leader said to me, if you work in sport, you're probably going to have to prepare yourself for nine out of ten bad days. Well, nobody bloody told Luton Town about that, did they? <laughs> Just think about this. 13 years ago, this club had its pants pulled down and its arse slapped by the so-called authorities. Those five years in non-league football. Pelly came on board at that time and he's still with your club. And finally, back into the Football League and picking up Danny and Dan and Glenn and a little bit later, Harry along the way there as well. <laughs> and even then, I remember five years ago being at the League Managers Association Awards when you just lost in the League Two playoffs. Even Nathan Jones' defatigable energy levels were a little bit sapping that night. And look at you, you bloody upstarts. Three games away from the Premier League. It's extraordinary. So here's what I'd like to do. This is a, a very modest coaching setup and board. But, so here's what I'd like to do. If you are directly involved with Luton Town, you play for them, you're in the academy, you work off the field, I want you to stay in your seats. Everybody else, whether you are a partner, a sponsor, a supporter who's bought a table tonight, a mate of a sponsor who doesn't give two flying farts about football but has come for the free beer, get on your feet now, please. If you are not directly involved with the club, everybody, up you get. Can we please show our appreciation for the players, the management and the staff of the Sound Football Club? I'm under pain of death to get the players away at a reasonable hour tonight, so I had to cut that a little bit short. A few little bits of housekeeping for you, and not just to keep you safe, we're well, not expecting a fire drone at the side of the doors. Often, please make your way in an orderly fashion to the exits. If you need the toilet, then go. And what else have I got to tell you? The bar will reopen once we start dinner service. I think that's all. I'll tell you what as well. I do have one major apology for absence tonight. There was this piece of paper was just handed to me. Oh yeah, it's from the Reading goalkeeper, Orjan <laughs> Nyman. He says, very sorry I can't be with you tonight. I'm having wing mirrors fitted. <laughs> If you, do, if you do see me a little bit agitated and looking over my shoulder tonight, it's just to make sure Harry Cornick hasn't run up here and he isn't about to steal my microphone, eh? He was like something out of a David Attenborough series. You know, like when the crocodile's in the water and the bat comes down for water and then the crocodile grabs the bat for his face. In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's get Harry, Let's get Harry up here right now, shall we? Harry Cornick, come up here. Come on, Harry. Up you go, up you 
Mónica. I wish, I wish I could pull up a young man's trouser like that. It's a tight fit, they're a bit tight, but it's okay. Tell me something, was this something you had spotted in advance? Had you watched tapes of him? Had you got some inkling, or was it something you spotted as the game went on that he kept putting it on the floor like that? Yeah, I mean, it was just something I spotted. I mean, he rolled out a few times, I thought, I'll try my luck. But after the game, I remember Chris Cohen came up to me and he went, Oh, just go to the press and just say I've seen it on the on the clips and give me a bit of credit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie, Chris. Sorry, mate. I can't lie. But, uh, it was just a little an opportunist moment, and uh, it's paid off. So, yeah. how many how many times have you watched it since? Uh, about four or five, not that many. I'm saving saving a few goals now for, for the last three. <laughs> How many times have people come up to you and asked you questions like this over the last 72 hours? Quite a few. A few more tonight, but yeah. It's good. I'm happy to score, so I enjoy it. Well, you gave us loads of entertainment. Uh, obviously, Orjan, um, well, he's going to appear on bloopers tapes from never on end, but I suppose that's not your concern, is it? Nah, poor him, poor him, but thank you very much to him. I'll send him a beer, a great beers at the end of the season, so thank you. Harry Cornett, ladies and gentlemen. Just mark your card what we're up to tonight. We are doing a little bit of fundraising for your beloved football club. We're going to have our own version of the chase coming up very, very soon. We've got a raffle going on a little bit later in the evening. We've got some magnificent auction items over there. So do take a look at them across the course of the evening if you would, please. You will meet the first team a little bit later, but we are going to try and get them away sort of mid-evening because quite clearly you have got definitely two, fingers crossed, three games still to play. In the meantime though, I just want to introduce you to the future of Luton Town Football Club because I'm going to ask the current under 18s, they are the Merit League 2 winners for this season and also EFL Youth Alliance Cup finalists. I think they're at the back of the room now. You're under 18s, will you stand up for us please? Stand up you under 18s please. All of you, up you there. Well done guys. 